hello, 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 everybody. Happy Friday night. Yes, I know it's dark. It is Friday night, about 9.30. And I am actually going to meet um, a date, actually, at Bar Louie in Dallas. Um, so, it'll be interesting. It's a guy named Beto. And he's, I don't know, about six years younger than me. Uh, works for an art gallery in Dallas. Um, used to work for the same art gallery in London. So he's very different, very unique. I like that. Oh, we just got dark. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I wasn't sure. He had asked me out, and honestly, I was really kind of tired, so I was like, you know what? If it falls through, it's not going to hurt my feelings. But he uh, he texted and was like, hey, why don't you meet me over there? And he was like, well, we can stay there, or we can go somewhere else. So we're actually going to go to the Toyota, Toyota Music Factory, and there's like tons of restaurants and bars and stuff there. So we're going to go uh, do that. So... But he's uh he's just he's really sweet. He um his dad is Norwegian and his mom I believe is Argentinian. He speaks like six languages. Grew up part of his life in Norway and part in Argentina. He has a very heavy accent. Constantly calls me Mia Moore, Mia Moore. <laughs> but um uh, and of course, he's my type of guy. He's all tatted up. You know, back to the the rose tattoo that I have right here in the middle of my chest. He's got a red one just like it on one hand and a blue one on the other. I was like, hey, I like your tattoos. But um, anyways, we actually met, believe it or not, on social media. He uh, sent me a message on Facebook. <laughs> so, but um, and I just figured, why not? Might as well. But yeah, so. I'm going to do that, and um, hopefully we'll have a good time, so I'm a little tired, but, you know, it's time that I do stuff for me, and enjoy me, and enjoy Carrie, so, and quit worrying about the past, and the way I was treated, and, you know, just get over the way that it, it, it made me feel, you know. For the longest time, like a big part of me just felt like I wasn't worthy. Or in half a mile, cool. keep right at the fork to continue on Texas 121 North, yeah. Texas 183 yeah, East. Follow signs really for false. DFW Airport, Dallas. I mean, definitely not true, but you know, when somebody treats you like complete crap for that many years, I mean, it makes you feel like, okay, I must not be worth anything. Except, you know, being. A physical, mental... Keep right at the fort to continue on Texas 121 North. Somebody talking to me like crap, treating me like crap, physically treating me like crap. So, and, um, uh, it's just been nice to be Carrie again, basically, to tell you the truth. So, and to be surrounded by people that actually, you know, want to treat me right. And want to treat me the way that I deserve to be treated. So, not just the way I want to be treated, the way that I deserve to be treated, and the way that, you know, that I should demand that I'm treated, so, but, it's still weird and different putting Carrie out there, but I'm doing it, and I'm enjoying it, I'm having a good time, so, but, um, anyway, so, yeah. So we will see. So I will definitely make a video on the way home, whenever that is. Like I said, it's already 9.45 and I'm just headed over there. So, um, but um, anyways, I'll definitely do a video and let you know how everything goes. So. But, um, yeah, but I love you guys as always, so, and I'll be back. So, bye.
Bye guys, gonna go. I'll keep you posted, fingers crossed. <laughs> Bye.